A cylinder has three surfaces. The circular area on top, which is the same on the bottom, and the surface that goes around the outside of the cylinder. Let's start by finding the area of the circular surface on the top and the bottom. And you should remember that to find the area of a circle, the formula is pi times r squared where r represents the radius of the circle. Well, given the diameter here of 10 centimeters, and hopefully you remember that the radius is half the diameter. So in this case, it's 5 centimeters. And pi is an irrational number. And here we're going to use a numerical approximation of pi, 3.14. So if we put those values into the formula, we have 3.14 times 5 squared, which is 3.14 times 25, which is 78.5 centimeters squared. So that's the circular area, and we'll remember later that we need to add in two of those to find the total surface area. Next we'll find the area of the rounded surface, and if you recall what a cylinder looks like as a net, you might remember that this is actually a rectangle where the height of the cylinder, in this case 7 centimeters, is one dimension of the rectangle. And the distance around the cylinder is the other. And that distance is the same as the circumference of the circle. So we first need to find the circumference of the circle. And the formula for finding circumference of a circle is given as 2 pi r. Again, we just need to put the values into that formula. So 2 times pi using 3.14 and r is our radius of 5. So that gives us a total of 31.4 centimeters squared. So that's one dimension of the rectangle. And a rectangle is length times width. So our two dimensions are 3.14 times 7, giving us a total of 219.8 centimeters squared. We have the areas of the surfaces, which now need to be added together to find the total surface area. And we found that the circle was 78.5 centimeters squared, and we need to add two of those together. The area of the rounded circle is 219.8, so we need to add that for a total of 376.8 centimeters squared. There is another way to find the surface area of a cylinder by using a formula. And you know that the area of a circle is pi r squared, and there are two of those. And you know that the area of the rounded surface is the circumference times the height. So the total area of that surface is 2 pi r times h. Our total surface area will have 2 of the circle, or 2 times pi r squared, plus the area of the rounded surface, 2 pi r h. We're just going to change this formula around a little bit to make it a little bit easier, because we've got a 2 pi at the beginning of this term, and a 2 pi at the beginning of this term. And we can take those out and rearrange the formula. So it looks like 2 pi times r squared plus rh. It's sort of the distributive property in reverse. Now all we need to do is plug in our values for those variables. 2 times 3.14 for pi, and then in brackets, r squared, or 5 squared, plus r times h, 5 times 7. First we evaluate what's in the brackets. 2 times 3.14 times 25 plus 35, which is 60. And multiply that out to 376.8 centimeters squared. So if you prefer to find the surface area of a cylinder using the formula, then this is the formula you're going to use.